Tonight, a News 8 exclusive bombshell allegations from a Coast Guard Academy whistleblower who was in charge of helping sexual assault victims in New London. Yeah, last month, she resigned from that role because she says top Coast Guard officials directed her to lie to assault victims and to Congress. News 8's Catherine Hauser joins us with more on this developing story. Catherine, you spoke with her today. I did, Ann and Dennis. Shannon Nornberg spoke with me just before she was heading down to Washington, D.C., where she will hear the Coast Guard Commandant testify tomorrow before lawmakers about sexual assault and harassment at the Academy in New London. Shannon says for years, unknowingly, the Coast Guard used her to lie to assault victims, to silence them and discourage them from speaking out. They used me to lie to victims. They definitely did. For 11 years, Shannon Norenberg has served as the sexual assault response coordinator at the U.S. Coast Guard Academy in New London to help victims. It's our job to give them services and resources, information about their case, and be kind of a link um, for them between themselves and the command. Um, a safe place to go talk, a confidential place. She called it a great honor to serve in this role, to work with those victims and survivors of sexual assault. You see people's bravery in coming forward. It's so scary, it's terrifying to come forward and talk about this stuff. You know, especially in such a place like the Coast Guard Academy, that it's a small, very small population there. But when it came to Operation Fouled Anchor, that report on the mishandling of dozens of sexual assault cases over decades at the Academy, Shannon says she was unknowingly used by top officials to deceive victims and avoid specific talking points and procedures during victim interviews. They used me to go out there to assure people that we've got this, you know, we've got this, we're handling it. It's so important that we sent three people to your house. But in reality, what we were doing is we were placating them. It was a dog and pony show. It was a, it was a farce. It was literally just to make a show that they were doing something. Shannon says there was also paperwork given to victims saying that the Coast Guard had told Congress about Operation Fouled Anchor, when in fact, they had kept it secret. They lied to me, they used me to lie to them, and those victims trusted me. And that's what's devastating because uh, I didn't know I was lying to them, and I never would have, I never would have. Just last month, Shannon made the decision to resign from the Coast Guard and speak up for those whom she says have no voice. I feel a personal responsibility towards them, to be honest, to make it right. We reached out to the U.S. Coast Guard for a statement on Shannon's story. They are working on a response. As soon as we get it, we will bring it to you. Shannon has started a foundation called the Mast Survivors Network to provide victims with legal services and advocacy. And Anna Dennis, the Coast Guard's commandant, she is expected to testify in Washington during a congressional hearing tomorrow where she is going to answer questions from lawmakers about the history of sexual abuse and harassment at the academy. We, of course, are going to bring that to you tomorrow. You just wonder how far this story is going to go. Maybe it's the tip of the iceberg. We don't know. That's the thing. We don't know. But I think there's going to be uh, more people coming forward. All right. Thank you so much. Yes.